Hello there, Chester here, back with another review. Today we'll dive into Those Below the Treehouse and see what Matt Hayward has in store for us. I will begin by reading the synopsis, and then we will delve into the book. After an attack leaves Tony's stepfather wounded, his 13th birthday descends into a nightmare. His stepdad is home, a bite on his neck. As Riverside's only officer searches the woodlands for the aggressor, Tony is told not to cause a panic among the few kids living in the Riverside's mountain community. And his best friend Ro Ben, Rogers, and Lee, Tally, are unaware. Overnight, the condition of Tony's stepfather worsens. His mother won't leave the bedside. And soon, Riverside is turned upside down as residents morph into moss-covered abominations. Freaks. Joined by the local bully, the boys seek refuge in Roger's treehouse, trapped inside as neighbors and even family claw at the trunk. Food and water soon runs low. With all hope lost, the boys decide to have their first of what they can before time runs out. Their first drink, their first cigarette, their first of anything at all. Like baby birds thrown from the nest, they will need to fly or fall and time is running short. For his 13th birthday, Tony has learned the world has teeth, and someone else is out there too, watching, an adult in a butcher's apron, waiting. Those Below the Treehouse is a new supernatural coming of age from a Bram Stoker Award-nominated author of What Do Monsters Fear, and a penny for your thoughts. So here are my thoughts on the book. First things first, Matt Hayward throws you right into the action at page one and doesn't let go. In the beginning, I did think things were moving a bit quick, not getting to know or feel for certain characters before their departure. But the more I read on, the better the story became. I loved all the characters in the treehouse, even the chubby Rogers and bully Kit. Lee was definitely a strong character and of course you can't forget the amazing narration from the main character. This coming of age zombie tale will have you at the edge of your seat as you read along what's going on through this main character's mind. Things get hard for the kids in the treehouse and finally when there's a glimmer of hope it's shattered the very next page. This book has a ton of tragedy behind the pages and I loved every second of it. From Roger's toothache to the biblical butcher, this book had scenes that just didn't let you go. There were no breaks in this brilliant horror novel. Overall, I give Those Below the Treehouse five stars. Yes, five stars. It was that good. I highly recommend you check this book out when it releases on June 11th, 2020. This has been another review by Chester, here at Chester Reviews. I hope you have a spooky day. Peace out, guys.